we're joined now by Susie Bates and Mariko Hill of the Falcons. Susie, commiserations on the loss today, but you're already in the semi-final. So what was the thinking going into today's game? Yeah, obviously we went out there and, and wanted to win the game, but um, at the toss I talked about wanting to bat first because we hadn't done that all tournament going into the semi-finals, and we tried a few different combinations and really about getting everyone out in the middle, but there was still that mentality that we wanted to win, but um, the tornadoes were just too good with the bat. Yeah, and there was also, there was you were very unlucky with your run out today, Mariko. You were just <laughs> getting into your stride. Um, a shame for you, but great to be out there with the team as you look towards going into the semi-finals. Absolutely. I think knowing that Atta and Danny were opening the bats and then Susie to come after me, whoever was out, I was quite lucky to, to be in the middle out there. And of course, if I sort of kept my wicket and batting with Susie, um, we're looking to build that partnership. But unfortunately, um, things happen and, and that's the game of cricket. And what's it been like to be able to bat alongside someone you know, with the calibre of... It's an obvious, obvious answer, really. Um, very privileged and honoured to do that uh, alongside the captain. And at the end of your innings, Susie, did you feel you had enough on the board? No, like we talk about 150 kind of being par. We, we've seen that throughout the tournament, and, and that was the aim at 10 overs. We were on track for that, but we just had a few too many dot balls in that middle, and we couldn't get a big partnership together. So I knew we were a few short, but if we bowled well and took, took wickets, we would stay in the game. And obviously you went out to do the toss against your great friend, former T um, New Zealand teammate, Sophie Devine. Does he feel that like she'd maybe got one up there and you were the first rounds on you? Hey, if someone's going to get runs against us, I don't mind if it's a Kiwi mate. So hopefully and we don't come up against each other in the finals, or unless it is, it's the final. But yeah, it's nice to see a wax arm even though you're on the other end of it. But I was just, like I said in the... Post-match, it was just really cool to see some of our bowlers, Gunjan from Sweden and Andrew from Bhutan, take up the challenge to bowl at Sophie. And they did a really good job, but she got a few over our fielders' heads. Yeah, and you know, maybe let her have this one, but if you see her in the final, she's not having any runs, yeah? Yeah, that would be a good deal. I'll shake her hand on that after. <laughs> and Rico, um, obviously you've still got games to come. What's the plan now for you and for the team? looking towards the semi-finals? Unfortunately, we've got a rest day. Um, I think we're just going to collaborate as a team and talk about the game, but we're going to bounce back a lot harder um, now that we know what our strengths and our weaknesses are. Um, but, you know, with the lineup that we have and a lot more um, guns to come into play, of course, we've got Cathy and Brittany still in, um, in, in the room. Um, they can sort of come out and, of course, help us out. Amazing. Well, commiserations on the loss today, but already into the semi-finals, and we'll just, you know, when all those placements are sorted, we'll see who you'll be playing. But enjoy the rest day, and good luck in the semi-finals. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Off to the water park. Woo!